your expectation of something releases dopamine and the actual event releases dopamine. And if the event related dopamine does not exceed the expectation or at least match it, there's a much higher tendency that you won't pursue that thing again. Dopamine is what's going to lead us to want to eat more of something or to not want more of something because dopamine really is about craving. It's about motivation and it's about desire. And as I mentioned, these amino acid sensors in our gut are detecting how many amino acids, but they're also detecting which amino acids. And there's a particular amino acid called L-tyrosine, which comes from food. It is in meats, it is in nuts, it is also in some plant-based foods. L-tyrosine is the precursor to a couple other molecules like L-dopa, et cetera, that make dopamine. However, the dopamine neurons that give rise to these feelings of good or wanting more or desire and motivation, those reside in the brain. So we don't want to get too confused. We want to respect and honor the power of the gut and this vagal pathway, but it's really neurons within your brain that drive the pursuit and decision-making. So what does this mean? Well, some people make too little dopamine.